What's up, guys? I'm Novak on the video, and today I'm back with another video. Now, today this is a quick update video from my last video on torrents. Uh, I read some of you guys' comments. You guys said that iTorrent was down, um, or you couldn't basically install iTorrent, and I looked it up, and in fact, you cannot install iTorrent. So, as you can see on the website right now, there usually would be like a blue install button. If you watched my last video, how to install um, iTorrent to, to download torrents and movies and stuff like that. There usually is an install button right here, pulsing, and you can click it and install it. But um, that's no longer there, and I don't know how long it's going to take for App Valley to put it back up. So I went ahead and I found another way to go ahead and install iTorrent. And you're going to need a couple of things. I'll have everything in the description below. Uh, you're going to have to use a computer. Uh, you can't do this from the phone. You got to use a computer. But it's still simple. It requires no jailbreak, no modifications, nothing like that. I'm just going to be using a couple of things. Number one. I guess I can close this out. Number one you're gonna need is, uh, well, number one thing you're gonna need is Cydia Impactor. I'm gonna go ahead and download this. I'm gonna download it right now and put it in my downloads folder. Boom, like that. That's the first thing you're gonna need. Number two, you're gonna need the iTorrent IPA. Um, I'll have it linked in the description, but it is here on um, this, I don't know if it's GitHub or GitHub, I don't know how to pronounce this website, but uh, the makers of iTorrent, they have their own website where you can see all the uh, framework and files and everything and the development process of it. But if you scroll down a little bit, you can see all the screenshots. These are the guys who made the app. So you're getting it directly from them, the most updated version, and it's a, it has iOS 13 support. So if you guys wanna install it on the beta, it works on iOS 13 and iOS 12. So I guess I could update the title for that. But on the downloads right here, but I'll have a link to the description directly so you don't have to worry about that. Next thing you're going to need is um, your Apple ID pulled up. You want to go to appleid.apple.com. I have mine right here. I'm going to blur some stuff out, obviously, because it's um, personal information. But you want to go to appleid.apple.com. Go ahead and sign in and stay on that front page. You want to have basically all three of these things and you'll be set and ready to go. And by the way, the computer can be Windows or Mac. It works on both. Um, I've done this same process on a Mac computer, so it works for, for both platforms. So what you guys want to do is basically have the IPA downloaded, and you want to have a Cydia Impactor. You want to go ahead and um, extract Cydia Impactor and make sure you got it in your folder, like that. And um, next thing you want to do is go ahead and plug in your phone. I have my iPhone plugged in already. If I pull up iTunes, you can see my phone right there. It's already plugged in, it's syncing and all that. So we're good on that part. Um, once you have it plugged in, um, on your phone, you don't really have to do anything. Uh, I was just making, I'm about to make sure right now, I see right now I don't have iTorn on my phone anymore because if you have it on there, it's gonna say that it's installed already. So you have to delete that one. So if you have any older copies of iTorn, well, I'm, get, I'm assuming most of you guys don't, um, go ahead and get rid of those. You don't need those anymore because we're getting the updated version. By the way, if you have this, uh, this video actually also can be an update uh, video because you have the older version, you wanna go ahead and uninstall that one and do this because this is the newest version. I think it was 17.1.0, something like that. It's the newest version of iTorrent. So once you extract this, you wanna go ahead and open Impactor and uh, you'll see it right here, install Cydia Extender. You wanna go ahead and hit start. Now it's gonna, it's gonna give you a uh, Apple ID error or a, a password ID error. It's gonna do that, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. So you wanna go ahead and use your email login. So that's what I'm gonna do. The reason why we pulled up your Apple ID um, in the browser is because you're gonna have to generate an app password. We're gonna need that to install iTorrent. It's really simple, I'll show you guys how to do it. But for now, I'm gonna put in password. And like I said, it's gonna pop up sign in with an app specific password you generated. So that's what we're gonna do. So you wanna go back to Chrome and you wanna pull up your Apple ID tab basically. And under account, below account, you'll see security and you'll see a couple of things. Uh, you wanna look for app specific passwords right here. And you wanna hit generate password. And here you can type in, excuse me, you can type in whatever you want it to be. I'm gonna hit create and it's just gonna generate an app password so you can go ahead and copy that all right so we're gonna go ahead and install it I'm gonna enter my password again and we're gonna enter that same in-app password 
and it's going to basically install iTorrent. Simple as that. It's going to go through the process, and as you can see on the screen, it's installing the entire app. Um, basically, no zero issues. Um, you don't need any jailbreak. You don't need any modifications. Nothing like that. Just this program. It's going to verify it, and we're done. So now I'm going to be on. I'm going to get on my phone and show you guys the rest of the process. So uh, let me go ahead and do that. All right. So right now I'm screen recording on my iPhone uh, just to give you guys the live view. So right now you can see I have iTorrent in the bottom right corner right here. And uh, before we go ahead and open it, you want to go to your settings and you want to go to general and you want to go to pro profile, sorry, profiles and device management. And you should have a developer app. It most likely will be your own email. That's not a problem. It's just that's the email that you used to verify, quote unquote, that. So you want to go ahead and hit trust. You want to trust your email and that's it so you can go ahead and open the app and everything's normal 1.7 that was the that was the update so 1.7 added ios 13 support you can see the change log right there and one thing i like to do is go down to the bottom and disable the ads disable anyway and if you guys want to donate i want to donate i need to find out how um I want to donate to these guys. I appreciate everything they've done because this app is amazing. So, um, yeah, that's it. That's basically how to fix iTorrent or reinstall iTorrent or update iTorrent or download iTorrent for the first time and get movies and all that stuff. Now, as far as actually using iTorrent, um, check out my previous video. I'll walk you through how to um, use it to download torrents and movies and how to organize files. That's still a very much relevant video. Um, I hope you guys. Uh, if you made it to the end of this video, please check that video out if you want to learn the functionality of this app and its coordination with other file, um, other file management apps so you can basically make full use of your iPhone and its storage. And um, that's it. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe. Well, I guess the outro is going to run. I always do that. <laughs> the outro is going to run. Thank you guys for watching. And I'm out. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a like down below and subscribe if you enjoyed this type of content. Also, don't forget to hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks guys.